Hello everybody, this is Mystic Jen, and I am here with a pick a card reading for the week ahead of August 24th through August 30th. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and pause the video for a moment, concentrate on these three piles. Whichever one draws you in, that's the pile for you. Yes, it is possible that more than one pile can be drawing you in. If you're having a hard time deciding between a couple piles, then watch both of those readings. I will have everything time stamped in the description box below. We will go ahead and start with pile one. I want to start with the astrology card. Second house of owning. So this week could involve your money and your finances. The second house is your physical possessions, bank accounts, your money. Okay. You see this, this is kind of representation of a coin. So I feel like this week emphasis is going to be on finances then we have autumn is my last chance please don't lose hope so we are getting very close to fall fall is just less than a month away so if you are struggling right now, understand that, you know, it's not going to be for long. Fall is a time of harvest. It is a time of reaping what you sow. And, you know, it looks very bleak, very bland in the background, very barren, but she has a red apple in her hand. So there is some fruit that is going to be given to you or coming your way. And the OM card that I have for you is Blackthorn. Okay. And Blackthorn is about um It's about rising above the struggles. It is, you know, sometimes we go through things that are unpleasant. Sometimes they require some sort of cleansing. But this is like purging out old habits, maybe creating new financial habits for yourself, uh, financial planning, um, cutting down on spending, things like that. But you, somebody's really struggling financially right now and there is a cleansing that is occurring and it may feel unpleasant, but it is going to produce fruit for you in the long run. You are going to get rewarded, okay? And then the next card that we have is individuality. You leave your unique stamp on of love on everything you do. So, you know, this might involve a work situation as well. Um, career's not on the table right now. We'll see what the Tarot and Lenormand come up with. But there may have been a lack of work. That is why that you've been feeling the pinch and feeling kind of destitute in your financial realm of your life, in your physical realm, your possessions. And you've been going through, it's been really rough, but there, by, by autumn is what I'm feeling here because it says autumn is your last chance. Autumn is going to bring something fruitful, some kind of harvest to you. And, you know, through love of your family, maybe through love of your job and your 
love for others. You haven't lost that loving touch despite the issues that you are going through. Okay? And that, you know, you leave an impression on people. There might even be help being extended to you. Answer. Answer to your problems. Your work issue. This is unlocking the door to a new opportunity. You may be advancing in your job or you may be being offered something much better. Wow, the ship card that is going to bring you, move you forward. And this is a fast boat. I'm feeling like something is going to be moving very quickly for you. Yeah, the answer from work is on its way and it's coming soon. There, you may be given an opportunity to relocate for a better position, but the universe is answering at, in this situation. An answer is on its way for you. This is the Pagan Lenormand, by the way. And I am using the Green Witch Tarot for this reading as well. I want I need five cards. This is the lover's card. This is a decision that has to be made. That's your central issue. Um, central about something that you love. This, this is from involving relationships. Now, when I say relationships, it doesn't have to be romantic, okay? It can be business, it can be work, it can be friendships. I need two more cards, please. Okay, it's almost like a bittersweet um, uh, Queen of Pentacles doing the practical thing is underneath the deck. Okay, this feels like we have the Eight of Athames. That is the Eight of Swords. Somebody is feeling very, their mind has been, so your mind has been closed off. You've been feeling kind of trapped in a situation that with the four of a thomas that you know it feels like a troubled mind needs to put something to rest it feels like that you're going to have some peace of mind after you've been feeling trapped in a financial bind okay and there is a big decision this is a huge decision it's coming with a major arcana card so this feels like life-changing decision that is on the horizon. Ten of Wands, this decision is weighing very heavy on you this week. Now keep in mind, timing is fluid. This could flow into the next week or the week after. We do have autumn here, so this could be going into something developing and over time and coming to fruition come um, end of September, okay? But we have, you know, and then the Five of Chalices. Five of Chalices is also representing disappointments, also representing some sort of loss, but not everything is lost. And it's an emotional loss. So th this decision that is weighing heavy on you, or is going to be weighing heavy on you, is something that is emotionally draining. It, it is an emotional decision and one way or the other, 
It feels like that there is a loss involved. But Spirit is also telling me that that loss, you can't let the potential losses keep you bound because you have a golden opportunity. You have to do what's best for you. I feel like you are somebody who puts everybody else first. And it might be, maybe this is not your energy. This could be somebody else in your life feeling the loss of you moving forward. But you can't allow that to hold you back. But I do feel that there is contemplation, a lot of thinking that is going to be done on this. But don't close yourself off to this new opportunity. It's like the universe is answering this, and yes, you might have to go away somewhere. But it feels like you're heading out of the cold and going into something warmer, something brighter. Okay. This could also be the an emotional loss that you, you may have suffered an emotional loss amongst this financial situation, but you could put things to rest that the burdens are going to ease up and, you know, there could be a coming together. There could be, it's definitely a, a life changing decision uh, for whether you're going to stay where you're at and take your chances, or if you're going to take this chance and move forward. But you have to do what's practical. You have to do what's right. This is um, could be even money management. Or this could be the Queen of Wands is the mother of the um, minor arcana. Just like the Empress is the mother of the majors. Okay. This Maybe this is leaving children. Or you are leaving a mother behind. Star. But this is a wish fulfillment. You were wishing and hoping for some kind of breakthrough. And the universe is answering this is divine guidance. Trust your intuition. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is something solid, something you could take home to the, this is something you could take to the bank. This is definitely a solid offer coming your way. Okay, so this is for reading number two, and we are going to move on, our reading number one, we're going to move on to reading number two. Welcome to pile number two. Okay, your astrology card is Cancer, I feel. Okay, this is about getting in touch with your intuition, getting in touch with your emotions and your feelings. This is about, um, you may be dealing with a Cancer. Um, you may have Cancer in your chart. But this is a very intuitive time. This I feel like that there is spiritual connection here for, that is calling you to tap into it, to its energy. Trusting your intuition. I feel like somebody might even be growing spiritually. This could be spiritual awakening. And we have Grumpy Red Fairy. Be your true self. Somebody... <laughs> You know, there's this anger feeling that I'm, I'm getting that may be giving rise to your emotions. And I feel as though that somebody, that you may be giving into your emotions, giving into that anger when you need to really calm your mind, tune into spirit, and really not allow that other person to or whoever it is to evoke those negative emotions and we have an eight here and we have a seven seven and an eight you know sevens are about growth eights are change and things are things are moving very swiftly very high energy so somebody really knows how to push your buttons is what i feel here and they really have a tendency to bring you down. And being true to yourself is telling me that you need to be yourself and forget about the hateful words or angry words that other people may speak. Okay? Your 
Power of Love card is gratitude. You're fully, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So that I think that this is a lesson of not allowing the wrong people or the negative people, negative energy into your personal space, into your spirit, into your soul, and allowing nothing but love and positivity. And there's an old saying that is coming to me, kill them with kindness. And that is kind of like the energy that I'm feeling here. And your um card is the beech tree. The beech tree is wise counsel. It is wisdom. Okay. It is, you know, learning. Learning from your mistakes. Um, it is also a spiritual tree in that this is also speaking about connecting to spirit as well. Okay, the Norman clarify this reading. Let's go a little bit deeper. Three cards, please. This is the Lily. Again, wise counsel. Listening to wise advice. The moon. The moon is a sign of cancer. And the fish resources. Wow. You know, it feels like that there is a need to tap into your... You have like this endless resources into tapping into your intuition okay somebody with wise counsel has a lot of resources a lot of knowledge that they're willing to offer and pass down to you and this and maybe even showing you a spiritual way of tapping into your spiritual self your emotions gaining control of those raw emotions Wow. Three of Athomas. Yes, somebody has suffered very greatly. That is a broken heart. That is disappointment. The Holly King. This is the Hermit. This is somebody trying to help you shed light on your way. This is going within. And I think that this is about going within finding your path because somebody has been feeling very lost in the process queen of wands we have virgo energy here we have aries leo sagittarius we have cancer strong cancer two of chalices that is a very loving connection. That comes after a heartbreak. Nine of Athames. So somebody has really been stressed over this. I think what the spirit, what the universe is trying to do here is send spiritual healing to you. They're trying to Maybe wise counsel, maybe this is emotional counseling. Um, dealing with a professional counselor, potentially. But somebody who's been very wise is trying to help you out. And that this hate card, this anger card, might be your energy that you're feeling towards somebody who may have betrayed you, may have hurt you, broken your heart in some way, shape, or fashion. A connection that you thought was it you thought this was the soulmate connection and like i said you may have been dealing with an, a fire sign as well but this is somebody who is gets the courage up and the her musters up the strength 
to move forward. I'm feeling very long, very strong Leo energy here. Um, cause I'm feeling strength. I'm feeling confidence and courage. Okay. This is about going within and finding that courage to face the heartbreak that you had experienced in this connection and to finally put to rest and no longer worry about the pain and heartache. I mean, you've been, I, I'm feeling a lot of tears, a lot of crying over this. I'm definitely feeling like you suffered some sort of loss. Definitely, I think it is a break. I feel like there has been a breakup and this is about, you know, embrace it. There's a light coming in, shining. If you look here, there's a light shining on you. You know, and there's no purpose in stressing over this anymore. And this wise, I think this might be maybe um, counseling for depression. If it's not a professional counseling, maybe it's spiritual counseling, clergy, okay? Um, again, there's a lot of strong energy here about receiving advice, receiving help, somebody reaching out and trying to help you emotionally and lift you up. And I feel as though spirit is trying to encourage you to accept that help because you are harboring a lot of anger within yourself. And with this moon card, you know, it's, this is really highly charged emotions here that, you know, that you need to treat yourself with love. Okay, this card is like drawing my attention. This is like a total lesson that you had to learn. And I feel that this person that did you wrong that hurt you the way that they did. It was a toxic energy to begin with. It felt like in the beginning, it was a true soulmate connection, but it turned bad very quickly. And I, and sometimes things fall apart. I'm surprised the tower card is not here. What is under the deck? Queen of chalices more cancer energy or could be Scorpio or Pisces but she is getting in touch with her intuition and I feel there is a lot of self-love and self-care that is needed here so I think this next week you need to concentrate on you concentrate on healing concentrate on dropping the negative energy within you going within and really seeking that inner wisdom from even from your higher self, from your spirit guides, angels, the great divine. So I would say this week would be themed around self-care, self-help, reaching out to others for support, building your support system and get the healing process started and this so this is what i have for you for pile two and we are going to go ahead and head over to pile three welcome to your pile number three for those of you who chose this one okay we first have libra i balance this libra is also about karma Think about the tarot deck, the sun, Libra is the justice card. Um, this could also be the sign of Libra. You know, something happening in, during Libra season or something coming to fruition in Libra season. You could be dealing with a Libra or you may have Libra in your chart. But this is about um, balancing out our energies. You know, emotional balance, this could be We'll see what other cards come up here. But this could go in a lot of different directions. Libra is um, the, let me think here for a moment.
it is ruler of the seventh house. And the seventh house is of partnerships. Um, so you could be dealing with um, partnership issues as well, bringing up balance, balancing give and take, or something in your partnership house, you know, justice being served, however that resonates. Your power of love card has cause and effect. I just said about um, karma. Cause and effect, that's exactly what, that, what it is. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. That's pretty deep there. This is, um, you know, the energy you put out is what you get back. Your actions, what you do, what you say has a direct impact on your own life. And same goes with, I mean, this could be someone that you're dealing with as well. Cause and effect, you know, whatever may have been going on, they are going to get what they deserve or you're gonna get what you deserve, good or bad. It's the energy you put out there. And we also have Druid Flower Fairy, sweet memories. Somebody's feeling very nostalgic is what I'm getting here. You may be, somebody may be stuck on something in the past. That's what I'm being told here. You could be stuck on something in the past that may be even holding you back, that you need to restore balance. You need to let karma do her work. Um, so the, that's the feeling I'm getting, very nostalgia. Somebody stuck in the past. Then we have Heather as your OM. This is definitely calling for inner healing. That's what Heather is about. It And the moon card, this is connecting with spirit this is spiritual healing here this is going within yourself and letting go of the past letting go of the past pain that may have been caused by you pal too had a similar energy but maybe not so much nostalgia but still the, the energy was going within and allowing healing to take place. And so you, if you were drawn to this card, you may want to rewind and watch reading number two as well. Because I feel Spirit is telling me that there's a little bit of a crossover here. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the Lynn Normand. Okay, three cards, please. cars are being stubborn we have the anchor that's security you know somebody's thinking about memories of what was once very secure and I think that spirit says you need to think about your own security now uh, I feel it's emotional security this is the um, This is the garden, but it's like a Lazarus. Um, you know, wandering around. <clears throat> That's the energy I get. Somebody's like wandering around, very insecure, not knowing the direction that they need to take. And I think if you're gonna find the answers within, you got the moon card, guess what? Pile two got the moon card as well. So this is tuning into your intuition. This is tuning in 
in, into spirit. This is, you know, get, balancing out those emotions. The moon is trying to be a guide. There's a there's the sea. It's a deep sea of emotions that you're experiencing that you may have been feeling very lost in and not sure where to put your anchor. But the answers are lying within yourself. To get that balance back, you have to go within. This is definitely about emotional healing here. Going within and finding that happy space and Sure, it's okay to remember the good times, but don't let that leave you stuck. Seven of a thames. This is like somebody <laughs> taken from one house and going to the other. <clears throat> Looking over their shoulder because they're very paranoid. Um, Queen of Wands. I think that Pal Two got the Queen of Wands also. King and Queen. Oh wow, this is a couple here. Okay, and first note I want to take is his back is towards her. Okay, but a lot of fire energy. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra energy here as well. We have Cancer energy. Some similar energies as Pile 2. Six of Chalices. This is nostalgia. I've already mentioned it. Remembering the way things used to be. And we have the Green Man. He represents the Fool. Underneath the deck, we have the High Priest. Okay, number five. He is, this is the Hierophant. So this could have been a marriage of a strong commitment. That, you know, something went wrong, something went bad in it. Right in the center of it is a sense of betrayal. And I think that you're feeling stuck. You don't know what to do with these emotions. And this is about going within this week and starting the healing process of the sense of betrayal that you had suffered. And it does feel like that there is definitely a separation. This is a divine couple. And this with these two cards is reminding me of a married couple. If you weren't married, you were living like a married couple. Okay. And... And this is about having faith of things getting better as well. Trusting in spirit in the universe. And the, the full card is about taking a step out by faith. We've got faith here, okay? Taking a step out by faith and starting over. This is, there is a need to let go of this nostalgia. Letting go of what might have been or what used to be. Okay, I feel like that this is a situation that it is over and you need to go within and, you know, facing what had happened. You know, karma's coming around, the universe is, it's like justice is going to be served in your favor. They are going to get what they rightly deserve. Um, six of a thames, you know, this is about going into... A better mental space you know leaving this storm behind and we have this is the temperance card this is the alchemist she is creating and mixing and this is I feel as though like healing potions but and she is about balance as well we have balance here this is about bringing your emotional state in your life back into balance, being in a, at peace 
and she's about healing as well. So, three of wands, planning for the future. Okay, this is your cargo coming in after doing a lot of planning and preparing. I could keep on going. We have the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new opportunity being presented to you. So, Hermit. Hermit came out in pile two. This is, it starts with you going within and working on yourself. So, pile two had a similar message about going within, self-healing, working on yourself, self-love. So, yeah, these are the messages that I have for you in pile three. Um, please do make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know how this has resonated with you. And leave, and I will make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Blessed be.